Even the new lot. How's it going? Uh, just going to do another wee quick uh, video the, the night. Uh, somebody mentioned the other day about making eyes for the Boatmanger floats. Uh, some guys use safety pins, wee tiny brass safety pins, and cut the, the loop off the end. That's fine. Uh, it does the job. I tend to turn my, or bend my own eyes, depending on what uh, diameter of stem that you're putting on. Might be a wee tiny uh, one needed for a maybe the bottom of a porcupine quill or you know, likes of these ones for the cruising floats there, you know, for the a kind of a kind of medium sized eye or whatever. Uh, so I'll show you how I do it and then I'll maybe show you some of the, the wires that I use. This one I'm gonna use a kind of chunky wire tonight because it's easier to kind of demonstrate it on. This is a kind of one millimeter uh, kind of mid a grade aluminium wire so I bought it for a job and it's no work to it so uh, it's lying in the, the cupboard not doing much a uh, pair of snips or, or scissors whatever we kind of flush cutters put that you know kind of modeling flush cutters that type of thing uh, for cutting the wire I'll get these wee scissors are brilliant b &Q, excellent use that wee bit in there for, for cutting the wire itself so I'll cut a wee bit of this uh, I'll cut it quite chunky so you can see it. So, a bit of wire like that, right? So, there we go. What I'll do, I'll point you down a wee bit so you can see what I'm doing, okay? Makes it easier than trying to super explain everyone. So, here it's here. Right, you can easily see it. Cool. Uh, now, some of the things I use, I'm going to take this out the road so I don't slash myself. I know for Hamilton, but I'm not that bad. Uh, couple of things I use for turning eyes, anything, you know, wee bits of dowel, wee bits of anything. And a wee tapered one, that's quite handy, because you can get maybe a different, couple of different sized eyes out of the one wee bit of wood. But a three and a half mil dowel, but a three mil uh, bamboo, a wee bit of two mil cane. And then that wee tool that I use for picking things and, and you know, doing wee things, scratching my ear, whatever. That's just a wee bit of one millimetre stainless. I use that for a uh, wee sliding float eyes. Uh, and you can also do like these wee kind of jewellery pliers, jewellers pliers. Uh, different size prongs. That's, I think that's two and a half mil and that's one and a half mil. So you can bend it around about that and gives you a nice round eye as well. So loads of different ways of doing it. But this is how I do it. I'll use this wee bit of tapered stuff. So... Basically, do it quite big so you can see it. Capture it like that, and then fold that one over. That wire stuff, and I thought, and then that one round like that. And then what you want to do is basically fold them round on yourself, and round your your dowel, your mandrel, whatever you want to call it. Round like that, so that they they come round. You know, pinch it in a wee bit like that, and then off it comes. It gives you your eye, and then you can trim that down to whatever length you need. Like that. Throw in a wee bits in the bin because we're super conscious of the environment, and wee bits of metal like that get in the road, and it gives you. A wee eye like that. So that's basically how I do it. So simple. But maybe sometimes kind of overthought, so you kind of wonder what's happening. Now, as for the wire I use, eh, I've got some in the drawer here. That's a eh, point, I think that's point 0.4 mil, half a nailed brass. So solid brass, half a nailed being that it's heated, so it goes quite. Quite springy. Uh, that there is, I think that's 0.5 or 0.6 stainless steel locking wire. Like that. Uh, and there's different things. That's a, a stainless steel wire bought for some, but again, not get around to using it yet. Uh, 0.8 millimeter aluminium wire. What else have we got in there? The one I tend to use quite a lot 
There it is. A nice draw of it the wood. That's it. Brass coated copper a uh, jewellery or florist wire. Point I think that's point eight millimetre or something like that. Very easy to bend, very easy to cut, doesn't rust, that's the main thing. Uh, and that comes in a variety of colours. There's gold and black and bronze, a kind of deep bronze. And I'm pretty sure I've got a green one somewhere as well. Uh, so there's there's loads of wires, I've got other stuff lying about, but I don't know what it is. Uh, oh, there's another wee roller. That's a kind of softer stainless steel wire, similar to the locking wire. So, loads of different things that you can use. Uh, a lot of it's trial and error, trying to find what suits you, and also what suits the float that you're making. Because uh, you know, sometimes you want to go traditional, you want a nice wee brass eye, and you don't want it too thick. So, that's the way I go. Okay, dokie. So I hope that helped, uh, and you can take from it what you need. Alright, thank you very much. Cheers guys.